Hallelujah. People love sin. <clears throat> That's why they get angry when you reach out to them and you say get right with God. People love sin. They don't want to hear about Jesus. People are living unholy and ungodly. But we have to love our neighbor. And love warns your neighbor. That's what love does. Love warns your neighbor not to go to hell, to come to Jesus. Love sees their neighbor getting drunk and messing up their life. And they go and reach out to them and say, Sir, you're messing up your life. You're letting this drunkenness tear up your family. You need to come out of this. You need to get right with God. We have to love our neighbor like we love ourselves. And we have to reach out to them. But people love sin. They don't want to hear about judgment. They don't want to hear that they got to repent and come to Jesus and live holy. Men have an appetite for iniquity. The Bible says that the light has come into the world and men, they love darkness and they hate the light because their deeds are evil. Their deeds are sinful. They hate the light and they don't want to hear that they got to come to Jesus. But we have to love them anyway. We have to love them and warn them to come to God that they can be saved. They can be reconciled to God. The devil has people deceived. Sin is deceiving the people's hearts. And we as Christians, we need to reach out to people. Hallelujah. So, love doesn't suffer sin upon their neighbor. Hallelujah. People can have their hearts healed if they come to Jesus. This is the issue with mankind. This is why the world is all messed up. This is why you see people all messed up. It's because of sin. This is why people are depressed. They steal from other people. They practice sexual sin. They're full of anger and bitterness. They're oppressed by the devil and it's because of sin. And we have to love our neighbor and warn them. That's what love does. Love warns their neighbor. Hallelujah. You will hear people say, well, just preach love, brother. Just preach love. Love is warning your neighbor not to go to hell. Love is getting in their business and saying, sir, you bound up by sin. You need to come to Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. People love sin. And they don't want to think about what the Bible says. They want to keep it out of their mind. They want you to be quiet. If you start saying what the Bible says, they want to live their life in sin. They want to sin in peace. But we can't let these people go to hell in peace. We need to make a big fuss about salvation. Hallelujah. We have to stand in their way and not let them go to hell in peace. Hallelujah. We have to contend for these people's souls. We have to love them with godly love. 
Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But people love sin. And their only hope is Jesus. They're going to be scorched with eternal fire for all of eternity if they die without the salvation of Jesus. Their only hope is to come to Jesus. And God can give them a new heart. God can give them a heart of flesh. He can take that heart of stone out of them and He can give them a heart of flesh, a heart that is sensitive to God. They can know the goodness of God. Hallelujah. They can know the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Not just talking about the goodness of God. People say, oh yeah, God is good. But they don't know the goodness of God. People can know the goodness of God because Jesus saves. God answers prayer. But people have to repent. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Be blessed today. If you don't know Jesus, repent and believe on the Lord. Come to God. Don't live in sin. It's not worth it. You will profit nothing if you live your life ungodly in sin. You're going to go to hell. Come to God. Be made whole in Jesus. Repent and be converted so that your sin may be blotted out and that you may be refreshed by God. Hallelujah. Be blessed today. Love your neighbor. Reach out to them. In Jesus' mighty name.